Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Warner Media and Discovery merging. Mm -hmm. Looks like they might be hitting a snag. Oh. Uh, yeah, some Democrats are not happy with this merger. They have concerns. I got Which is what? Uh, which is they they'd be too powerful. But I really have to wonder. They, they let Disney do stuff. They let other companies do stuff. Yeah, but this they always let Sony comes up. Do stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I, you know, I, I got to wonder. I got to wonder if there isn't a component here. Hat tip to my mom. Yeah, hat tip to, to Mama Sparkles. Mama Sparkles. Uh, because CNN might change if this goes through. Uh, you know, there was talks that CNN would, would potentially get. Uh, sold off, um, you know, they were going to sell it off separately, but now they're talking, well, yeah, we'll keep CNN, but there are some people, uh, chairman on their board saying, yeah, we're going to keep it, but I'd like to see them go back to being an actual news organization. Well, that's just it. I'd like to see a lot of these outlets across the board go back to being a news news organization. Now, some of them are legitimately not too bad, but there are several that um, have gotten caught or, you know, we've seen report things that aren't necessarily true or they, you know, sensationalize one thing, but then something else is equally as bad and they, they don't talk about it or step over it. It has been a problem. I think media in general, whether it be papers, you know, blogs, outlets like this, they need in general need to start actually reporting the news and start instead of trying to control narratives. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because this is this is really interesting. You know, Warner Media Discovery, the merger is going to kind of set the tone for you know where obviously Warner Brothers goes in the future. And there has been a lot of concern about it because the people in charge of Discovery are not big. Uh, fans of old school Hollywood. They're not friends of Hollywood. They're they're money people. Mm -hmm. um, so the money might start drying up a little bit once this merger happens. Uh, I, you know, I kind of wonder on some level if uh, DC Comics getting in all the activism that they're getting in now is sort of a last uh, gasp before lock. You yeah, know, because because they know they know this guy is uh, David Zaslav. Um, is the guy who's going to be in charge of it, and he's not a friend to Hollywood as I understand it. And well, somebody needs to not be a friend of Hollywood for once. And DC has had, DC Comics has had protection because the guy they have in there currently is is a friend to uh, comics in the Hollywood, but this guy could give a shit. Here's the thing. No matter who you are, whether it be Hollywood or otherwise, money is how, is what makes everything go. Money is what makes it go. Be it the studios, be it the, you know, news, be it whatever. It's all down to money. If they aren't making money, I don't care who's friends with Hollywood. They're going to have to turn and make some changes because at the end of the day, they can't keep producing things and writing things and doing things. If they don't have the money. So at some point, you're going to have to stop just, you know, pushing agenda for agenda's sake. You know, that doesn't mean you can't have diversity and inclusion. By all means, you can still have it, but you can make it like, you know, organic, like it used to be for decades before you just, you know, pissed with it in the last few years. And you can... you. Uh, Please the customers and consumers be inclusive and, you know, and make money. It's completely possible. But the first thing you need to do is shut some of these damn idiots up who keep going out there just to stir up crap. And then they're like, I don't understand why it didn't do so well. Well, I think a lot of idiots are going to be shut up by uh, David Zaslav whenever this goes through because they are focused 100% on making money. It seems like they're doing everything they can do before the merger to to cut some costs. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to be hyper focused on on making money. They have to compete with Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and you know, HBO Max isn't performing as well as they were hoping. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens, but you know, I didn't necessarily expect an antitrust concern. No, I didn't either. It was um, weird. You know, so we'll, we'll talk about well, this. Well, I mean, I guess I did expect it because they brought up against Disney and, and Sony, but in both cases, let it go through anyway. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about all of this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 244,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk uh, pop culture. We talk about streaming wars. We've been following the Warner Media debacle for the last couple of years. And, and we actually had, at one point in time, not the case now, but we had some insiders over at Warner Media uh, feeding us information on like Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll, uh, Cartoon Network, all of that stuff. And a lot of that came to pass. You know, mm -hmm. Crunchyroll got sold to Sony as we understood it. If that wasn't going to be an option, they were probably just going to roll Crunchyroll into HBO Max. 
Uh, we're seeing some major changes at DC Comics. We're seeing Rooster Teeth on its last legs, I think, at this point. Um, not looking too good for some of these uh, stragglers here at Warner. And this is definitely when this goes through. Uh, there are going to be some big changes. I wish they had done some big changes before they did it Santa Inc. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a see, sequel. See, see, that's what they're right there. You know what? You want to make money? Well, that probably wasn't the way to do it. Anyway, uh, Variety via Yahoo Finance, at and CEO dismisses Democrats' antitrust concerns about Warner Media Discovery merger as unfounded. Mr. Stanky, John Stanky, CEO of AT&T, said an effort by Democratic leaders in Congress to characterize the proposed merger of Warner Media and Discovery as an anti-competitive threat to the media industry. How? Well, wait, is that but the, okay, well, okay, well, 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 okay. So it's an anti-competitive threat because the the, the 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 media they own, or at least one of the pieces of media that they basically own, isn't going to be allowed to just you know tow party lines. Here's here's the thing. So this guy is that what this is about? I believe that at the root of it, I think that's exactly what this is about. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't but, think the media should be taking sides with any political party. It's just be telling the truth and reporting the news, no matter who they are, be it Fox, CNN, MSNBC, any of the extremes. I think they should just be doing that. Well, here's the thing. Liberty Media's chairman, John Malone, is on the Discovery Communications Board of Directors, and he wants to see CNN revert back to nonpartisan journalism. I wish they would, too. I wish they all would. Following the completion of a merger that would put the liberal network under the Discovery umbrella. He said, I would like to see CNN evolve back to the kind of journalism it started with and actually have journalists, <laughs> which would be unique and refreshing. Now, I think you can you apply that to many networks at this point. Many networks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's the truth. I mean, the, the reality is, is that uh, news has become very polarizing. It's become very polarized. It's become bias confirmation. More yeah, than journalism. It, it has. And it's it's I mean, across the board. Yeah. And yeah. it's a problem. I, and I think we've seen so many so many things blow up. Far worse than they should ever have blown up based on the way these news outlets have, have been behaving. And it's just the truth. And I'm sorry. And I think that we should have them be held accountable or go back to, you know, just reporting on what's actually the truth. So this guy is the top shareholder of Discovery. He's saying he wants to see CNN go back to unbiased journalism. I would, too. And then a couple of weeks later, we've got the Democrats complaining and I mean, it could I'm be, just saying, it could be coincidental, totally but I really don't think it is because even the way they're wording it, the way they're wording it, um, what they're worried about is like, mm -hmm, what if you weren't if you weren't trying to leverage media to 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 sway opinion, why would you care? Yep. Um, so what's been articulated in those letters? It's Elizabeth Warren, I think, is leading the charge here in AOC. What's been articulated in those letters is really unfounded, Stanky said, of the current antitrust scrutiny of the deal during an appearance of the virtual UBS Global Technology Media Telecom Conference that was a webcast. Uh, his appearance came as around 30 members of Congress expressed concerns of, over possible violations of antitrust well, laws. Well, they had concerns about antitrust laws on Disney and Sony, too, but there wasn't media, like, that they weren't worried about news networks. And quite frankly, CNN and MSNBC are, like, their two big ones that they really control. So, again, we've got Elizabeth Warren and AOC, who would kind oh, of... shocker. Shocker, who would have kind of a stake in this, right? I mean, especially if the top shareholders, like, let's rein in CNN. Now, CNN's been sort of uh, uh, up in the air, you know, for a while now. They were talking that they were going to get rid of it at one point. Um, and this was just a couple of weeks ago. There's a place for them in the $43 billion combination of Warner and Discovery. Well, they already get rid of them because they didn't want to deal with them, which is understandable. And then they said that was a cowardly way to handle it. Yeah. I'm like, I would have got rid of CNN too. I wouldn't want to deal with that shit. Hell, the Democrats want to block it so bad. Why don't they get together and just flat out buy it outright? Just buy it. There you go. I mean, because quite frankly, I, I mean, I used to, I, I don't even, to be honest, I don't I think at most of the news networks, I don't think any of the ones we, I, I, there's none that I could think of that I would go to them to believe completely believe they're unbiased no it's basically the, you know the media has been split on down party lines yeah and now. it shouldn't be um you're, you're the news network you're supposed to report on it it might not align with what you think politically but that doesn't matter it's the news and i'm so damn tired of everybody using these news outlets as the, as the way to control the narrative to try to leverage elections it's like this is stupid and then people don't get the truth and then they get pissed or if lies are reported, then there's lawsuits. You sure as hell have enough money to cover all these damn lawsuits you guys keep getting into. 
Yeah, there have been some lawsuits and there probably will be more yeah, lawsuits. Yeah, it'd be damn cheaper yeah. just to tell the truth. Yeah, well, would it? Because you lose all that ad revenue. Uh, here, here's well, you're losing it anyway. People aren't tuning into these places anymore, and that's why they're flipping out. They don't have enough money. The reality is, is a lot of people that watch these these uh, polarizing news networks don't actually want the truth. They want no. They want to hear their they want to hear their confirmation bias. They don't um, want to have to ask, that to think or ask questions. And and it's just like so, it just, I don't know. It's just it's just I, I think what you're th what you're saying is probably true. Yeah. So you know, I mean, CNN is basically at the heart of this. I I think. I mean, again, that's just an opinion. I'd cut them loose if I were Warner. I'd be and the Discovery. I wouldn't want to deal with this with CNN shit. No, because like you said, you're opening yourself up to potential lawsuits, and and anytime you have a media outlet like that, there are potential lawsuits. Mm -hmm. And look at what happened with the MAGA hat kid. Regardless of what you think about the situation, kid made hundreds of millions of dollars well turned out yeah because imagine that the media deliberately reported it part way and not the entire way got lots of clicks for them though yeah so he says uh this is john malone i do believe good journalism could have a role in this future portfolio that discovery time warner is going to represent things are going to change they're absolutely going to change and i think we're going to see as we get closer to this deal happening if they can push it through we're going to see hollywood Freak the hell out. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see DC Comics freak the hell out. It's not that hard. Stop politicizing every damn thing you do. Try to be fair. Try to do, you know, honest journalism and find the truth, not the truth with a twist. And when it comes to Hollywood, just make good things. And, you know, if you're rebooting something, stick stick to it. You know, make good things and, and do diversity and inclusion, but do it in a way that is not like, did I mention it's a woman? Did I mention it's a woman? Did I mention lesbians? <laughs> You know, I mean, did I mention they're not white? I mean, I'm just so tired of it because pretty much that's what diversity is. Not white lesbians. That that slapping sound you're hearing is geeky slapping my ass every time she no, says it's diversity. No, it's not. I'm just saying, it's not that hard. You can accomplish all the same things, but, you know, that requires integrity. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. And CNN, across the board. <laughs> CNN has not had integrity in a long time. Several of these have it. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, the media is just more and more polarized. Ever since it's become polarized on politics, it's just gone downhill. So anyway, uh, Hollywood Reporter, they have the letter here. Um, this is uh, what they wrote. They said the transaction raises significant antitrust concerns. In what way? Uh, in particular, the merger threatens to enhance the market power of the combined firm and substantially lessen competition in the media and the entertainment industry, harming both consumers and American workers? Again, in what way? Because what? you let other mergers go through. Yeah. In what way? Uh, in light of these concerns, we respectfully urge the department to conduct a thorough review of this transaction to ensure that it does not harm American consumers and workers by illegally harming competition. Since when has competition been something they've been worried about? Uh, since... CNN is at stake. I mean, that, I, I honestly think that is that is a big part of this. As the deal to create the newly titled Warner Media Discovery Company awaits regulatory approval, the pending mega merger of Discovery and AT and T Warner Media is set to close during the first half of 2022. Discovery's not that big. It's not that big of a mega merger. Not really. It's basically they're just kind of foisting all their entertainment off onto at and foisting all the entertainment and the right. media off onto discovery. It's no yeah. different than Disney buying Fox. It's no different no. than the stuff that Sony acquired. That... <sighs> While insisting the antitrust review process was going according to expectations, Mr. Stanky discounted the overture from the Democratic congressional members. Having been through a number of these transactions in my career, getting letters from members of Congress is not unusual. When you have a lot of members of Congress, there's always going to be those that have a different lens. That's true. They want to put on something. Um, political chatter about the Discovery Warner Media merger also coincides with the Justice Department and the FTC holding a workshop about competition in labor markets on December 6th and 7th. Um, the sp they want to spotlight efforts to protect and empower workers through competition enforcement and rulemaking and are also inviting public comments to be re received. So it's it's kind of a marketing ploy uh, for them, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if it's – I think it's going to go through. I think it's absolutely going to go through. No, you know what? It probably won't. It'll be the only one that doesn't, even though the other ones were allowed to go through, and it'll be over CNN. Well, then what will happen is it'll just sell CNN. That's what I would something. do. I wouldn't. Yeah. Even, I honestly wouldn't even go touch CNN with a 10-foot pole. I mean, I wouldn't touch half these news outlets with a 10-foot pole if it was me. I'd be freeing myself with them a long time ago. Yeah, but it's funny. He's basically like, yeah, we're not going to sell CNN. We're not going to sell it. We're, we're going we're gonna to change it. 
We're going to change it and make it. I mean, this guy's one of the top shareholders. Because it's hemorrhaging yeah. viewers. Yeah, it is. It's not doing well. Um, so that's probably what's behind it. Just bird's eye view. Uh, I, I think CNN definitely is a Who component. But um, yeah, investment banks could net more than $320 million from the sale of Warner Media to Discovery. So there, there's that. Yeah. You know, lots of money to be made. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's. I mean, there's plenty of competition. It was kind of like the Crunchyroll thing. It was like... You can't say there's there's no competition when like every streaming service now has anime. I know, on it. right? Exactly. There's there's plenty of competition. That's not that's a bullshit. And the investment banks, you know, it's it's interesting because a lot of these uh, these members of Congress probably have you know will somehow benefit in the, yeah. with these investment banks on on the the shares of this of this being sold. I think they're concerned, and especially you know Hollywood. I think Hollywood's freaking out because we've already seen what Warner thinks about the studio system. I mean, you know, they've, they've canceled productions. They've, they've taken movies and thrown them on HBO Max. I mean, to them, it's just content. Uh -huh. They don't give a shit about movie theaters. They don't give a shit about the directors. Uh, they're going to do what they're going to do. Well, they and, did give them money, though, when they did that. Yeah, but they probably complained to get that money, I'm sure. Uh -huh. Just give it to them to be nice. You know? They didn't go and you know, have to sue them yeah. or make a, a public statement like ScarJo. Yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, things are going to change, though. I, I do expect this to affect DC Comics for sure. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. We're going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.